Hi there. Thank you for joining me for this last devotional in our series on Psalm 23. As we've been seeing, God is our shepherd, but he's also a heavenly host who's given us a seat at his table. He's prepared a feast for us in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our heads with oil, a symbol of his blessing, so that the cup of our lives overflows. And it means that even when life feels threatening, we can still overflow with joy and peace as we enjoy the presence of God with us by the Holy Spirit, as we feast on his promises, all that he has blessed us with in Christ. You know, the promise that he will never leave us or forsake us. The promise that he will work all things together for our good. And the promise that we see here in verse 6 that David claims when he says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. John Piper is an author and a pastor who gave a great illustration about this. He said, imagine that you're you know, driving down the highway and then suddenly you see in your rear view mirror, you see these flashing lights and you think, oh no, as you remember all the previous times when you've been pulled over and you know this is the time when he's going to throw the book at you. Um, and so in that split second, uh, you make the crazy decision to put your foot on the gas pedal rather than the brake. And so there you are, you're, you're tearing down the highway, highway patrol is in hot pursuit, and you're thinking, oh no, you know, if he catches up with me, you know you're going to lose your license. It means you're not going to be able to take that well-earned holiday, uh, that vacation in the Caribbean that you had promised your wife. Yeah, you know, you're thinking, how on earth did I get into this mess all your past failings are catching up with you and you know there is nothing you can do no one can outrun highway patrol and so in the end you pull over you know some people see god like that that he's after you to throw the book at you but just imagine uh that there you are you're sitting in your car, your, your heart's pounding, you're sweating, you know, you're expecting the worst. The, the officer leans into your window and instead of throwing the book at you, he hands you your wallet. He says, uh, you left your wallet back there at McDonald's. They asked whether I'd catch up and, and, and give it to you. Well, now you feel a complete idiot. But there's more. The officer says, I don't think he realized actually there was a scratch card with that meal. And it seems you have won the top prize, a vacation for two in the Caribbean. Can you imagine that happening to you? Maybe you're thinking that never happens, right? That would never happen to me anyway. And yet that's exactly how God treats his children. That's the conclusion that David came to when he said, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Now that word follow uh, doesn't quite convey the full meaning of the Hebrew word that David would have used. You know, we tend to think of it maybe like, uh, I don't know, following at a distance or maybe even lagging behind. And maybe some of you see your lives like that, you know, uh, surely goodness and mercy will lag behind all the days of my life. And yet that is not actually what the word means. Uh, in the Hebrew, it's much more active than that. It means to pursue. Surely goodness and mercy will pursue me all the days of my life. It's like that highway patrol man pursuing you right it's not going to let you get away but it's not to punish you or to judge you it's to do you good it's to bless you and that is how God treats his children and so if you are a child of God today if you are a sheep of his pasture then like David you can say with confidence I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can you say that today? 
Listen, the Lord is asking you to trust him. He's saying, will you trust me that I am constantly watching over your life? Will you trust me that I will not let you fall? I will provide for you. Will you trust me that I know the plans I have for you, plans to bless you, plans to do you good? I want to encourage you today. If you haven't already, put your trust in Jesus Christ. Put your trust in his death and resurrection for you. And then you can make Psalm 23 your own. You can say with confidence, the Lord is my shepherd. He's my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I hope this series has been helpful to you. Uh, if you would like to know more or to discuss this in any way, please do get in touch. Uh, you can contact me at hello at newfrontierschurch.com. Okay, well, God bless you. Have a great uh, rest of the week. God be with you.